Hi, um, so my name is Jesse, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm currently living right now in Freiburg, Germany. Um, so I was diagnosed with interstitial cystitis in September of 2022, but my symptoms began around February of 2022, um, and it kind of started where I was just doing my normal routine of going to the bathroom at the end of the night, and then immediately after I went to the bathroom, I just had the urge to have to go to the bathroom again. And that lasted until 3 a.m. in the morning and I was able to fall asleep. Um, and just was like constant feeling of just feeling like I just had to keep going to the bathroom. And then it would go away for like a month and then it came back and then it started from being monthly to then weekly. And then after that, I got um, burning sensations as well when I was going to the bathroom um, and so through all of this it was not a fun time and navigating um, what was going on with my body and everything while being in a foreign country was also very challenging um, I definitely felt very alone because I was at the time on my study abroad and I really felt like no one else understood what I was really going through and also at the time I was 22 and I was young and still am and um, I really just I didn't understand how something like this could happen to someone my age um, so I just really felt super isolated from everything and really from just enjoying my life um, so then it was in um, October a month after my diagnosis I was actually on the way to visit my friend in Chicago and I just was super, um, just super defeated and I didn't really know what to do and I just was pretty much at rock bottom. And I just went on Spotify and that's where I came across Callie's podcast. Um, and that's when I heard about R2R. But at the time, I just wasn't able to financially afford R2R. So I initially joined um, the IC Collective and I started there and then by February of 2023, this past year, I just was like, I want to take control of my life. I want to just get better. I want to figure out what my root causes are. And I decided to join R2R. Um, so basically through R2R, my root causes and the things that I figured out were my biggest triggers were actually not food triggers, which was a huge surprise for me because I, at the time I basically wasn't eating anything. I was really strict on the icy diet. I did not drink any alcohol and I was a 22 year old, you know? So this was like one year after I was legally able to drink and I wasn't even enjoying any of that. Um, and basically though, through R2R, I found out that my two main uh, root causes and biggest triggers are actually stress and the other one being hormonal base. Um, so basically my favorite part of R2R was the hormone class that we had and that really taught me about seed cycling and how to actually um, eat during different cycles um, of my menstrual phase. And through that, that really, really helped me a ton with really managing my symptoms and then just also learning how to um, remain like de uh, decrease my stress really helped me a lot as well. Um, so now I finished R2R at the uh, middle of April, and it is now uh, the middle of September, and my quality of life has been improved so much. Um, I now basically am able to eat everything. I have successfully tested everything back into my diet. I also was gluten-free, and Beverly, the nutritionist for R2R, she told me just to test wheat again while I was going through my elimination diet and everything, and I did. And I tested that also successfully, so now I am able to eat wheat again, which is also huge because I was not eating that since 2019. Um, and I basically am able to live my life normally. I do get tiny little flares here and there, but I found um, I learned the tools and I know how to manage them so much more than what I did before R2R, so I'm not fearful of it, which also really helps calm down my stress, which then also helps prevent a really bad flare. Um, and basically, I don't know what I would have done without this program. R2R has changed my life, and I don't think I would be in such a positive mindset or really be able to 
enjoy my life how I am now if it was not for R2R. So if there's one thing that can tell someone who's maybe hesitant, who's maybe worried about the financial costs, at the end of the day, R2R is so worth it. And all I can say is just join. Your life at the end of R2R is going to be so significantly better than what it was before that I cannot, I just, I don't know what I would have done without it. So thank you again so much to Callie and Beverly. And yeah, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster, but I'm so grateful to have the support of everyone in R2R and the community and just know that I'm not alone anymore and that everyone you know, is going through this crazy journey together, but we're all here for one another and I couldn't be more grateful, so yeah.